lift off. So this is going to be our uh, video to show you how to get started on your final uh, mechanical drawing. So the first thing that I'm going to go through today, and I want you guys to have your drawing set up. You can go ahead and make your drawing views if you want to, but there's a section view in there that we haven't talked about yet. And so I would just stop at that point, but you can go ahead and draw your geometry in if you want. That drawing is going to be, if you want to take this home, you're going to open it from the uh, from the S drive under 1405 prototype drawings and this is going to be in chapter 11 where your final project is going to be so I'm going to go to here and there are two of these I want to make sure that you do not get this test fixture that's not what we want we want this one so if you want to take this home this is going to be the format in which you're going to draw this thing now notice that we're going to have three sheets in our final mechanical I'm going to average those three sheets together to give you the best average, okay? So it's not going to be cumulative. So if you look in uh, your drawing in your book, I'm sorry, at chapter 11, it's going to show you an isometric drawing of the toe stop assembly. We're going to put that isometric drawing right here in this area. Sheet two of the drawing will be details, the first sheet of details of the parts. Sheet three of the drawing will be details of another part and then just the we don't have to draw the hardware now I wanted to tell you guys that on the isometric drawing over here we're gonna start on the 2d drawings first why we start on the 2d drawings first because we'll have angles and we need to draw the angles in 2d anyway and then we can measure them over here and draw them in isometric format over here so what we're going to do is we're gonna make this into our toe stop assembly final. So I'm going to file save as and I'm going to go to my personal drive 1405 and I'm going to call this toe stop assembly and ASSY is a correct abbreviation for assembly. There are actually assembly uh, abbreviation books. So ASSI, yes ASSI works. <laughs> Now we're going to save that one. <coughs> and so now I'm working on my toe stop. Uh, now, what I don't have in here, and you can look in here, there are already a bunch of layers in here. So I told some of you guys to use a Design Center to actually copy over your layers. But are there any layers that we don't have? We have Visible, we have Text, we have Phantom Layer for offset lines, which we'll talk about later. A miter layer for miter lines, um, center, center marks. I don't know why we have both of those. Uh, we have a cutting plane layer for a section view, which we're going to talk about later. Dimensions and hatching whenever we do cut through a section view. We have an isometric layer that we're going to turn on and we're going to draw our isometric uh, views of our parts at the very end after we finished all the details. So we're going to start at sheets two and three and then we're going to go back and draw our isometric on the first sheet. If you want to go ahead and draw your isometric, you can do that because there are a lot of help sheets that show you exactly how to draw those in Blackboard. All right, go to isometric help sheets and it shows you bit by bit how to draw those things out. Okay, so uh, we've got these in here. Let's go and see if we have some dimension styles. <clears throat> we don't have a small and large style. Now, I told you guys that my disclaimer in copying these things from one drawing to another is to make, the, the, make sure that the dimension style is correct. So if you look at the setup in that drawing, what page is it, you guys? 383. 385. 385 shows you what drawing to open, what your dimension style is going to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my inch draw my template drawing I have the small and large style dimension styles in there right so I'm going to open that up I'm going to have that open here and I'm going to go back to my toe stop assembly and I'm going to go to the insert tab not the pull down but the tab I'm going to go to design center and since I already have it open it makes it super easy here's my daily work inch I'm going to expand that dimension styles and I'm going to grab and drag and drop these two into my final drawing. 
So now I have those dimension styles, but what is different on the dimension styles that you guys see? Good. The text tag and the arrowheads are the same size, and they're different than what we've had in our other drawings. They're 0.15 instead of 0.125 or 0.12. So that's all that we need to change. If I go into my small style and I modify it, I'm going to go to text. This is going to be 0.15. Arrows, 0.15. Now if you go in there and draw your center marks, you don't need to change these to line. These make it come in with the center mark on the dimension, and sometimes you don't want that when it's a filling. You're going to have center marks everywhere, right? So we left this on none on ours so that we, we go ahead and put all of our center marks, our center lines in. We shouldn't have to have that again. So I'm going to say OK on that one. I've changed that one, and I'm going to modify this one. My large style, I'm going to do the same thing, 0.15. And then in text, I'm going to go to 0.15 as well. Everything else stays the same and say OK. Now I'm going to go ahead and rule on the side. I'm going to err on the side of caution here and I'm going to set my small dimension style current because most of our dimensions are going to be two places or the small dimension style, right? They're going to be the small dimension style, meaning that they're not coming from the inside out. I didn't mean two places, sorry. So here's so I'm going to set that so that I'm starting out with small tile, style and everything. If there is anything large style, we're just going to circle those, go back and change them all at once. So if I close this, I want you to look at this right here. There is a, a format that we want you to use. Now, when we're doing this drawing, it's going to be like a huge, it's like one drawing with a bunch of parts in it. All we've been doing lately is making a Part, a drawing per part. This drawing has multiple parts that are detailed and dimensioned in a multi-sheet drawing. This is what they're calling a working drawing. So this is what's going to be your title block. It's going to say what the part number is and it's going to have a number that correlates to the parts list and the balloons that we're going to put on those parts in our exploded view on sheet one and we'll talk about that later. We want the notes colon here and then whatever the notes say in your book on those sheets that show sheets two and three, what sheet is that in your book? That show you the view layouts, there it is. It should be right after the, the dimension one. You see it? It doesn't have any dimensions on there. It just shows you the views. 80, what? 386. So if you look at 386 with me right now, do you see the little things that have the little circles and it says whatever the name of the part is and then it says notes or it may not even say notes. Don't delete notes out. Leave that there and make these your notes if you need them. If you don't need them, this is just a placeholder. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it over here. We're going to have two, two parts, so I'm going to put two down here. And I can move them wherever I want. And then I'm going to have another one over here. And then I'm going to have three in a row for the hardware. We're just going to call out what the what the size is and everything. And it doesn't have to be doesn't have to have a drawing when it screws and washers. We can pretty much tell what it looks like. So you can go through in here and you can edit these things and get these ready to go. Okay. So if I go to uh, Let's see if I, I don't think I'm in that chapter. So this gives you a template for that. Now if we go to now to our layout tabs, we have an assembly tab. It has your parts list. If you want to start filling in your parts list, double click on this. It is a table and you can start typing in each one of these little tables. So you can start filling in your parts list. Make sure that you fill in the information in your, and this says initial release. That should be Rev 1 right here, initial release, and the same date that you created the drawing. Down here, you're going to put in your name, the scale, which should be pretty close to what they're using in there. Maybe a one to one or one half. We'll find out what that is in a second. The school, 1405, and sheet one of three. Sheet one of three sheets for the assembly. Sheet two of three sheets. 
sheet three of three sheets okay the title for those is in your book details comma toe stop for sheets two two and three the first sheet is going to have the assembly on it so it's called the assembly comma toe stop and you can use assy okay so uh what we're, we're going to do this and if i go uh back into model space i want to look at this scale the scale is not correct so we're going to go to one half scale and then that's going to zoom in for us so i'm going to show you guys how to do that next time so try and try and go ahead and get this thing set up and i'll be in here this weekend and then we'll be recording every every day that we have class i'll be recording these and putting these out for you to continue with your final okay